your YouTube banner is one of the first things that people see when they come to your channel. But let's be honest, most people's channel art either looks unprofessional or it blends in with everyone else's. Today, I'm showing you how to design YouTube channel art that not only looks professional, but actually converts viewers into subscribers. Hey there, I'm Paige Major, a photographer, video producer, and YouTube strategist. I help people create photo and video content that grows their businesses online. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating YouTube channel art that makes your channel look instantly more professional and helps viewers understand exactly what they're getting by subscribing. I'll show you the most common mistakes that people make with their banners, where to place your text and images so they actually show up on all devices, and my exact template that you can use to create your own. Most people don't realize that YouTube displays your banner differently depending on what device someone's using. What looks perfect on desktop might be cut off on mobile, but I have a template that solves this problem. And yes, I'm giving it to you for free. The link will be in the description, but you don't need to rush and get it. I promise it will still be there after you watch this video. As I'm designing this banner, I want you to notice how I'm keeping the most important elements within the safe zone. This ensures that your text and key visuals are visible across all devices. Before we get to designing, let's talk about the elements that your YouTube channel art should have. Your name or your business name, what your channel is about, keep it short, your upload schedule if you have one, and a high quality image of you or your brand logo. Let me show you how this all comes together as I build this in real time. Okay, so when you click on the Canva template, this is what is going to open. And you will not be able to edit the template, but because I created it, I see this option. So you're going to click Use Template for New Design. And then it's going to open up the template. As you can see, there are guidelines here. Everything that is on this outside perimeter is what's gonna show on the TV, including everything on the inside. Everything inside of this box here, this area is going to show on desktop. And then everything inside of here is going to show on mobile as well as desktop. So whenever I start designing, I like to make a copy of this just so I have two to work with. And then one thing I wanna show you is that if you were to just use random templates from Canva, they don't always line up. So if I were to take this, you can just copy this and then bring it down to the sample, paste it, and you can see all of this stuff is going to be outside of the border. So that would not be a good option. Um, let's pick another one. This one looks like it might be close. And so this one would be all right. Some of these circles might be a little bit cut off, um, but if you don't wanna start completely from scratch, this can be a way that you get inspiration. And so this one would be for the most part inside, it would be a little close to being cut off here. The subscribe button would be cut off. But if you don't wanna start completely from scratch, then bringing over some of these designs and seeing how they fit within the parameters is definitely an option. But I'm going to start completely from scratch. So like I said earlier, I like to make a copy just so I have this easily accessible below. And then I'm going to design here. The first thing that I want to do is add a photo of myself. So I'm gonna scroll down and find the image that I wanna use. And I'm gonna go with this one. And then I'm gonna shrink it down to how I want it to fit inside this box. I need something that's gonna go behind here. So I love the color black, so for now I'm just gonna go with a black bar. So I'm gonna change that black, and obviously it's in front of my other designs right now, so to change that I can just go up here to position, layers, and drag it to be behind this layer. And if I want, I could drag it completely behind if I wanted to be able to see the template still on top. So now I have a photo. I'm not worrying about what's on the TV just yet. And the next thing that I want to do is add my name. And I'm gonna switch this to be my font, bold, and I'm gonna bring that up here. This is gonna start getting a little distracting with the template showing, so I'm gonna pull the template behind here just so it's out of the way. And I know that if I work within this box that's now here, that I'm gonna be just fine. Okay, so then I have my name here. This can be your name, you could add your brand. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is just write what my channel is about. So on this channel, I'm going to cover photo, video production 
and YouTube strategy. Then I'm going to just move this over here, center it up the way I want it to look. So now I have what my channel is about, and I'm actually going to add one more thing just to make it really clear about what my channel is about. So I'm going to drag this box over, and then I'm going to add a text box. So helping you look like a pro on camera. Obviously green is not my color, so I'm going to change that to pink. And so when people come to my channel, they can immediately see my face, they can see my name, they can see that I do photo, video production, and YouTube strategy. And then I have a saying, helping you look like a pro on camera, which lets people know that that's what they can get from my channel is help looking like a pro on camera. The last thing that I'm gonna add is my upload schedule video every Wednesday. I'm going to make that not be bold. Maybe make it a little bigger. And then I'm just going to center this up the way I want it to look. So I'm going to bump that up a little bit. Okay, now that that's all lined up, I need to figure out what I want to do with the thing that's going to display on the TV. Could I just make it all black? The background yes that's totally fine you could make this whole section black and it would appear just fine but i'm a little extra so i'm going to actually take this and drag it behind the whole backdrop go to my positioning let's put this back here so now that's behind but i actually want to take this and maybe make it um if you click this button, you can make something more transparent. So then it's gonna be dark enough still that you can read all of my text, but you can also see through to the image. And I'm just gonna resize it how I think it would look best. There we go. Before I show you how to export and upload your banner, hit that like button if this has been helpful so far. In the comments below, let me know what your YouTube channel is about. I love checking out channels from my community, and if you want me to, I might even give you some specific banner suggestions. The last thing that I'm gonna do here is go over to position, my layers, and then I'm gonna pull this template all the way to the front to make sure that everything is still within the lines where I want it to be. And it is, so now I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete that top one. So I still have my template up here if I want to design something new, but this one is ready to upload to YouTube. So I'm going to go over to share, download, change this to JPEG. Then I'm going to jump over to YouTube under the customization tab. And then here is where we will upload our banner image. So for the best results on all devices, use an image that's at least 2048 by 1152 pixels and six megabytes or less. So I'm going to hop over here download this and then we're going to go back into YouTube studio click upload open our channel art and we will see that everything lines up so beautifully the way we want it to click done and then we're going to come over here and hit publish and once we've done that we can view our channel and voila there we have a beautiful YouTube banner now that you've got a professional YouTube banner designed, you'll want to make sure the rest of your channel looks just as good. Check out my next video on my pre-recording checklist. I'll walk you through exactly what you need to do before hitting record to ensure that your videos look and sound professional every time. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on building your channel and looking like a pro on camera. I post new videos every week that help you create video content that grows your business online. See you then.